Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for February the 2nd. Today in 1597, the actor James Burbage was buried in Shoreditch. He is remembered as an actor, but also as an early theater entrepreneur. He built the theater, an early Elizabethan playhouse, where Shakespeare was also an actor and a playwright. In fact, there's an interesting story about the theater. It had been built in 1576 on the grounds of a dissolved monastery. It was an area outside the city of London. It wasn't subject to the rules against the theater that was starting to spring up as the century came to a close. The Puritans were gaining power, and they did not like the theater. They had several reasons, including plague and rebellions and also the whole immorality thing. But being up in Shoreditch, the theater was exempt from the bans on theaters that were coming into effect in London. Still, there was a problem with the lease when it came up for renewal in 1596. The Burbages had a 21-year lease on the land, but they apparently owned the building itself, and the lease gave them the right to dismantle the building, but the legality of doing so after the lease had run out was kind of iffy. On the 28th of December, on a cold London night when the Thames was frozen and Giles Allen was out of London celebrating Christmas at his country home, the Burbages, along with their brother, mother, financial backer, and architect, and about a dozen friends, arrived outside the theatre. They dismantled it piece by piece by piece and pushed it across the river into Southwark, where it then became the Globe. I should say that some sources online say that the timbers were stored in a warehouse near the river until the spring, but I don't like that story quite as much as the idea of them actually pushing it across in the dead of night. Either way, by February, there was an agreement signed for the Globe Theatre a hundred yards or so back from the river in Southwark, and Giles Allen was the very angry owner of a plot of land with a bunch of discarded timber on it. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com, where there are several episodes on Elizabethan theatre.